Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is March 6, 2017. And lo and behold, the increase in fireballs seen in the skies all around the world, ladies and gentlemen. I was listening to a report the other day from an astronomer. And he was being asked about a meteor that was a close call near-Earth object. The reporter asked him, how does this happen? And he said, well, with a meteor, an asteroid, that is in an orbit, and all of a sudden its orbit is broken, there are two factors. One of them being a collision knocked into direct line with the earth or at least a close call we're now seeing more and more of this so now all of a sudden for instance an asteroid that has a 100 year orbit for the last 10,000 years all of a sudden now it's off course and heading directly for the earth that's how this is happening we're seeing more and more of it in the skies all around the world, almost on a weekly basis. But don't just take my word for it. The information's there. Let's take a look at some of this information. Right off the bat, the article starts off with a brand new fat comet that's been discovered. They give all of the scientific information on it, all of it. Now, looking at the photograph, to me and you, we probably couldn't identify the comet in this photograph, but it's right here, right in the middle. Here's a blown up version of it. They named it. It's out there. Where did it come from? Well, it just showed up in this astronomer scientist. He found it. They labeled it 2017 E42. Sure, they'll give it another name. But anyways, moving down further. Bright green fragmented meteor fireball reported over the northern part of the UK. March 2nd, last Thursday. Here's all the people that saw it, reported it. Let's move down further. Loud boom and reports of fireball sightings over Texas in the United States. Monday, February 27th. Here's a video. Fireball spotted north-northwest in Holly, Texas on the 26th of February. Let's take a look at it real quick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice fireball in the sky. Sooner or later, we're not going to get so lucky because the laws of probability are going to start to take over. The laws of probability are, you know, the more something occurs, something's going to happen. So the more that we are in the line of fire, the odds are going to start getting stacked against us. We all remember the fireball that shrieked across the sky in Chelyabinsk, Russia, exploding over land, damaging a thousand buildings and seriously injuring over 1,500 people. It came out of the sun, as they say. Everybody, everyone, all space agencies around the world missed it. Luckily, no one was killed. Let's take a look at this meteor caught on patrol car dash cam.
enters the Earth's atmosphere, incandescent as a result of friction, boom. Look at that. That would be one hell of a sight to see driving your patrol car on routine duty. And if you notice, a lot of these police officers, they all have the dash cams. Uh, they're, they're actually catching a, a large number of these on video. Further down, February 24th, meteor fireball sighted over South Island in New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, these are just the... Uh, the sightings that have been reported. I'm sure there are things whipping by that we're not seeing. Article on February 23rd, Thursday. Asteroid 2017 DG-16 to fly by the Earth at point three four lunar distances. Fifth near Earth object to fly by Earth within one lunar distance since January 8th. A lunar distance, the distance from the Earth to the Moon, approximately 238,000 miles. In our solar system, that's close. We just had a small meteor fly by, I believe it was today, 9,000 feet above the surface of the Earth. It came in so quick, they were able to capture the orbit I saw the orbital diagram. <laughs> it was a little scary watching the, the animation. But there's absolutely no doubt, folks. Something came through the Kuiper belt like a cue ball playing billiards. And it seems to be that it just knocked everything out of whack. When was the last time in your lifetime that you remember seeing and hearing about so many asteroids and meteors and the Earth. 2016, now going into 2017, it seems to be picking up. Next article, February 20th, three meteor fireballs reported over, is it Chetlinham in the UK? In two days, three meteors in two days. There's a photograph that looks like a daytime flyby. I'll leave a link to this if you want to go ahead and check it out. Very interesting. February 18th, bright meteor fireball seen over northern U.S. and Canada. Where are they all coming from? And apparently they're coming so quick that no space agency around the world sees them coming. It's like they're just coming out of thin air. Let's take a look at this. You know, really nothing to write home about, but again, If this meteor was larger, on a different path, a path of impact, being at nighttime, and probably everyone would be sleeping, and they'd be waking up to one hell of a bang. February 19th, Sunday, bright meteor fireball lights up the sky in southern Alabama. Huh. Just a coincidence? No, nah, I don't think so. Rare asteroid, or excuse me, rare asteroid discovered along the orbit of Uranus. That's right. I said Uranus. February 16th, 2017. Not more than a month ago. Why didn't we see that before? We've been looking at Uranus <laughs> for quite some time. Why are we only discovering this now? Pretty picture. The list goes on and on. And we're not even out of 
February. And the article will just continue and continue with more and more sightings of these fireballs. I'm going to leave a copy to this, uh, a link to this article, and uh, I would definitely read through this. There's some great information here, which is in detail. Some video information, but a lot to read. The one that gets me is the one over here in the UK. Three meteor fireballs over this town in the UK in one day. Or excuse me, in two days. That's like a shooting gallery. But anyways, folks, you know, we're just keeping track of all of this weirdness that is occurring all around the globe. Just got an email from a nice lady in Kent, Washington, Anna. She tells me today, Scott, it snowed while it was 42 degrees. And it didn't just do it once, it did it twice. That's kind of rare, 42 degrees. It's snowing. Doesn't make too much sense. I'm not a climatologist, but maybe it's possible. It occurred today in Kent, Washington. She also stated that not only did they have a freak snow uh, snowstorm in 42 degree weather, but they had rain and hail and then all of it all at the same time weird weather big question mark tons of fireballs another big question mark increased earthquake activity for a year already big question mark now volcanic activity exploding all over the planet big question mark what's the root cause there has to be big question mark but anyways ladies and gentlemen keep yourself updated keep yourself informed it's the best advice I could give you at this point in time the more information you have, the more knowledge you have, the better off things are going to be. This is Scott from the Nibiru Channel. Thank you for watching.